friends hey family como estas bienvenidos it's your girl melissa q back with another video and this is around two if you hadn't checked out alicia and i who am i talking about kinky sweats video we swapped curly routines and there was a little glitch little glitch but if you're interested in this video then definitely keep watching so again we did a collab kinky sweat and i did a collab and it was switching curly routines she's low porosity i'm high porosity so we wanted to see if our routines would work with one another now y'all this is how long <laughs> that routine has lasted from thursday to thursday so this is an eight no seven day wash and go i don't count the day that i do my hair as a day so this is a seven day wash and go i want to see if <laughs> if her routine will work for me now the glitch was I use my Myel organics like as a regular lock method and she doesn't do that so I'm going to do it exactly this time the way that she does it besides diffusing because um, right now my hair especially in this type of climate climate it dries a lot quicker and I get better definition I rarely diffuse so that's the only thing that I'm not going to do that Alicia does so what we're gonna do is wash and condition our hair with the one condition decadence and um, these are her favorites then we are going to go in to the super curl she immediately goes into this and then the curly magic curl stimulator and then she finishes off with a oil she uses either the high shine by diva curl or i think she had another one but i cannot find for the life of me my high shine i don't know where it is i was talking about it in our current favorites and i don't know but i am determined to find it even now i can't find it i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna use i have one that's lightweight and i've talked about this being comparable to the candy i mean being comparable to the high shine and that's the candy oil by alterna I really like this it's very very lightweight as you can tell so we're gonna finish off with this that is her routine she like takes the excess of the product and she does the hair turban just like I did before she takes it off and then she finishes with diffusing the only thing we're not gonna do is diffuse so and I get more volume when I do diffuse. When I do do <laughs> diffuse y'all heat is not the best thing for my hair at the moment I, I do want to keep my curls and my hair last longer when I don't diffuse and I let it air dry so we're going to do the steps exactly 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 that's the only thing I kind of like tweaked it which was a, a pure help because look at my hair y'all like I rock this today and I have so much volume I love it so much but the tanglage is real so it is time to wash my hair I try to go like about four days no more than five days with the wash and go this is seven days mm -hmm. but it looks good right so i mean it's giving me fro curls but So we're going to do that. We're going to come back and do the routine. And while we're doing the routine, because y'all seen it in part one, if Alicia you hadn't seen gets. part one, you got to see part one. And then we'll answer some questions because you guys were so nice, so kind on the last video. So thanks so much. But we're going to answer some questions and actually address some of the comments that we had from the last video. And I want to tell you what I'm taking away in the end of this video from what I learned from the past video. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are back and let's get this routine started. And we are going to do the LCO method okay we really want this routine to work for us so um there are some things that I will say that I am going to go ahead and do and that is section off my hair I know Alicia if you can tell she does it where she just applies the product she did section her hair off in the last one but I totally get when you have a lot of hair you just like Put on the product her hair still turns out beautiful and um but mine i do prefer the coating and i want to get the ultimate 
I want to get the optimal results. So a lot of people thought that the results that I got were fabulous, which I totally agree. But then there were some questions. Okay, so somebody said, Kathleen Harris says that I'm shocked the glycerin was fine. Me too. Oh my goodness. And can the two of you collaborate on what a blowout or flat iron routine would like would be like for two porosities? That might be questionable. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to see if Alicia wants to. I, don't, I think um, both of us like rarely like flat iron or do blowouts, but we'll see. T Henson, hey girl, how you doing? She says she still hasn't found out what hair type or if her daughter is high or low porosity, but seeing the products that we like and our porosities are different, that might be products to purchase. Yeah, that could be. Now that's a to me a very good theory i'm gonna go ahead and take the super cream and i'm gonna apply it directly i don't have any oil any product on my hair so that is definitely something that you might want to do now the thing about the super cream i can tell you is still that it's emollient look at this it almost looks the same as if i put oil on my hair so i I'm so excited now I can tell you I'm having a hard time with actually getting the product through my hair and the oil and the lock method versus the LCO definitely helps with that but I can already tell that I was having like a, a little struggle in getting that through my hair immediately one of the things before I forget that I could tell when I was washing my hair y'all I had more product buildup with the low porosity than the high porosity um, routine besides you know putting that oil on and I'm thinking maybe it was because of the conditioner I don't know like I do feel like even with me applying the product right now that I need to apply I feel like I need to apply more product so hence the the reason why I think I would need a product um, I need to build the product more on my hair and moisturize so that was surprising to me but i guess i shouldn't be shocked because like you see this like i feel like i have to like really work this through but i will say that i feel like the moisturization definitely was there i'm gonna hope for the best Someone else, uh, Joy Deja King says, great video and this combo worked wonderful for your hair. I'm so glad that it did. Um, I Thank you, Alicia. You did, girl, you picked out the like best combo. You gave me a really emollient, I feel like, leave-in, which is really important if I'm not gonna use an oil. There have been times when I have a leave-in that's so emollient that I don't need to use an oil. And this super cream is really like, look at this. Even though I have to work it in more, I do feel like the super cream is emollient. Kind of scared that it's not going to last as long because I'm not reinforcing the oil on my hair. But we will see because maybe this will work. Okay, so this is like round two of doing it a different way with like taking out the oil step. We are gonna end with a finishing oil, but it's not the same as coating the hair like you would for the lock method. Someone actually had a really good question. I think it was Diva Views, yeah. Okay, so she says, so I'm trying to understand these combos. I'm high porosity and I use the lock method. So I am supposed to layer the curl pudding, then the gel over my C or the cream, the pudding, then gel. Seems like I would get a lot of residue and flaking, but so much product on my fine strands. What do you think? Um, I totally get what you're saying, because I think I'm kind of feeling the same way, but at the same time, yes. So the super cream goes first and then the gel, but I did get product buildup, but it wasn't, and I have fine thin strands as well. I did not feel like it really affected versus, um, actually I got more moisture. So I'm thinking like, this is the theory for me in this, in this method, you know, the LCO method that I'm doing exactly like Alicia's is that I am going to have to moisturize more. My hair is gonna look voluminous a lot quicker 
just because that oil isn't you know oils are like heavy anyway and I use those heavy oils like coconut and castor seed and we're not putting any of that on our hair so I do feel like I'm gonna get more volume but I'm gonna have to it's not gonna last seven days like the other one did I got more moisture in the last one but I reinforced with the oil this one like I said I think I'm going to get more volume as you can tell I feel like even right now it was it's a lot more voluminous than when I last did it okay so we're going in with the super curl I'm gonna try to mimic what Alicia did with hers and she really she did some sections I don't have as much hair as she does so I'm just gonna do this in two sections y'all literally I do love the fact if you notice that the curl stimulator is a lot snottier so I am going through this pretty quickly the curly stimulator does allow me to have that slip in that friction in the hair I am gonna put a little bit more in the top because that is my problem area I feel like before it was a lot shorter I think it's still gonna go short but I do feel like I'm gonna have a lot more volume what do you guys think so I'll show you guys the results but we're gonna head back and I'm gonna talk about what I felt like I learned from the last video so we are all done we're gonna use the aquas hair turban just for a few minutes okay and we have to go pick up Jojo so let me put on my shoes and we are going to head out I'll show some check-ins probably in the car too okay Hello. I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking how it's looking very nice very very nice and um, I'm gonna show you how I style it this is exactly how Alicia does her hair so we're gonna see if there's a difference I can tell that it's a lot more lightweight I would tell you that right off the bat and um, this one is not as moisturizing I guess the one before I was doing like LCO and lock method together I don't know because I was finishing with the spray and all of that but this one ooh, the shrinkage is for real look at that anyway we will check back this is day zero y'all know how we do it and we will come back and I will share with you guys the results okay hey guys so I wanted to show you really quickly how my hair looks this is day zero I washed my hair yesterday and it looks good I feel like that this is definitely more voluminous but not as moisturizing so um, I don't think it's gonna last as long but I will give my thoughts on you know it's pretty much the same prediction of what I thought it would be and so Joseph is so sleek back there I really like it this is an updo that I'm doing or that I did and so really like it it's just um, I know that um, it's not gonna last but super voluminous like this is the routine that I want if I want voluminous hair like the next day or the same day I just took my pick and I did use the finishing spray the high shine by <laughs> the high shine by diva girl Mm, just wanted to show y'all that's how it's looking okay gotta go hey friends hey fam in today's video I'm gonna be sharing low porosity things that I have learned and one of the first things that I absolutely love is that I have been missing out on using a conditioner I've only been using a deep conditioner but I can say that using a that one condition right after I totally could tell a difference my hair even the detangling I don't know I, and it makes sense because there are more softening and conditioning properties in a conditioner versus a a um, a no poo or a cleansing conditioner because those surfa uh, surfactants are still in the in the no poo or in the cleansing conditioner that's something that 
Alicia alluded to in her first video, which I'm so grateful. Surfactants, making sure that you that cleansing conditioner is completely out of your hair. And if you're gonna leave in something, you can leave in definitely the conditioner. So that's something I definitely missed out on. The other thing is that I hadn't been really finishing with a hair, like a spray at the end. And I'm gonna try that even with my high porosity routine. Me using a glycerin product, like it's not the end all and be all if you have a glycerin product. You can definitely take a gel or a creamy styler and lock that hold in and really like lock in that moisture by using a glycerin free styler. I learned something y'all. So if you have, who calling me? So definitely check out Alicia's video. I'm telling you, you, uh, you learn so much, okay? I'm learning some things. I know that I wanna skip that step by using a deep conditioner, but really using a conditioner every time I shampoo is some is a plus you know i was like oh i can skip it and i actually you can skip it with the deep conditioner but it's just plus it's just like added moisture like i'm losing out girl what were you doing and also using a finishing spray that's high shine especially for my kind of hair and um i guess it would be like moisturizing and sealing and just locking everything in so those two major points is something that i am going to take into my high porosity routine i am still going to use the lock method however conditioning and finishing with a like a high shine spray or something for that shine i do get shine anyway but to like finish it off with the spray i think will probably make my hair last longer because i mean you're locking in all of that with a high shine oh hi there just wanted to let you know i didn't do a proper outro you guys and i just wanted to come back and thank you guys for watching thank you alicia again for part two of this collab and I hope you guys found this helpful. It's another wash day, hence the reason why I have no makeup on and my hair turban. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you have learned and if you want to add anything into your routine. Definitely had some things that I am implementing that I feel like would be helpful. And it's all about experimenting. So go and experiment and I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye!